All right guys, welcome to my best in class tanks video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at some of my favorite new tanks from the past several months. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite groups of tanks I have looked at in one of these. So we're gonna be checking out, I guess my top five and vaping on some more of that lemon twist. This one is the pink punch lemonade and this is from the twist e-juice. So all right guys, don't go nowhere. It is best vape tanks today on Indoor Smokers. So all right guys, as you can see, I'm filming in a different spot today. Just different things conspired to make this the place to be able to shoot. But it is a little bit echoey in here, so I do apologize for that. Hello, 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 hello. So first up guys is the Geek Vapes Cerberus. This is a nice little tank with a pretty good juice capacity. You actually have just a 24 millimeter diameter on this thing, but it will hold up to 5.5 mils of juice. You have a top cap that's gonna allow you a top fill. It also does have a bottom adjustable airflow. And we are gonna go ahead and throw in some lemon twist. Don't get it twisted, bitch. Oh, well, actually, in this case, get it twisted. And then this Cerberus tank from Geek Vapes, it actually has two different glass pieces. So you can either have a 4 or the 5.5 mil juice versions like this. We do have the 0.3 mesh coil in here, and I'm vaping it right now at 55 watts. Check it out. Nice vape, great flavor on this, great vapor consistency. I would say about a medium airy tank. The next one I want to take a look at is actually a first entry for a mod kit like this by UWell. It is the Crown 4. I did like the Crown 3 a lot too. The only downside with that was the tank would have a tendency to get heated up a little bit and I don't like the especially warm vapes. But all right, this one, just like that Cerberus, is also a quarter turn. The top comes off, you fill right down there. You also have adjustable airflow on this. And this does have a maximum six mil juice capacity. So pretty good. It's actually a 0.4 resistance coil. These are the SS904. They vape between 60 and 70 watts, and I have it at 70 watts right now. So let's go ahead and take a hit off the Crown 4 by UL, one of my favorite new tanks. So just fantastic vapor production off this. I think you're starting to see why this is probably my best group of best vape tanks I've done out of like the six or seven of these I've done. I usually do about two a year, like every six months. So anyways, great vapor production, great flavor. I really love this tank. I vaped on it for about three, four weeks straight when it first came out. And then another great new entry into our best vape tanks comes from Free Max. This is the Fire Loop 2. And the only place I could find it right now was with the Twist Kit. So I will put links to all of these vapes. So don't worry about it if you don't get all the specs. I will list the vapes in the exact same order we looked at them here, right down below the video, down in the crotch box. Don't be afraid to look. And then I also have complete um, video reviews for each one of these tanks. So if you want to get a little bit more in depth and look for the complete reviews on my channel. But all right, guys, we're going to take a look now at the new Fire Loop 2 tank by Freemax. And this is another fairly small tank. This is smaller than the original Freemax tanks. You do have a 24 mil diameter base on it, it fits perfectly on the battery piece that comes with it. I do love the kits. And these things run, I think, around 45 bucks or so. So it's not that much more expensive than a couple of the tanks we're gonna be looking at here to actually get this tank in the complete kit. Now this one actually has a push open design, which I do like. I prefer that, although I think they could have either had a bigger juice hole or used two of them. But let's go ahead and get a little of my lemon twist in here. And this one is going to give you a five mil juice capacity, even though it is a smaller tank, 24 mils at the base. It does have a 28 mil at its widest point because of that bubble glass. And then this one has the point 
one five resistant single mesh coil in there. The wick is a 90% flax, 10% cotton. I've noticed a lot of the um, newest coils coming out are switching to like that wood pulp with cotton kind of a mix. But anyways, 90% flax, 10% cotton, incredible flavor and vapor production. Check it out. The brand new Fire Loop 2 from Freemax. Hells, bells. That thing is vaping up a storm. You can see the little bubbles coming out of this freaking thing, man. Good vapor production, nice consistency, incredible flavor. I would say probably not the biggest clouds of any of the ones we're looking at here, but a great mix of flavor and vapor production. All right, next up now, we are getting to the super big fucking cloud chasing tanks right now. This is the newest from Smoke. So this is the V9 Max tank that you got going on here. And similarly to the Twist, I have only seen this tank available with the kit that you have here. So this is by far the biggest tank we're gonna look at. It has a 28 millimeter diameter. It does hold 8.5 mils of juice. You are gonna be hitting 35 millimeters at its widest point. So by far the biggest tank we're taking a look at, actually sitting on the biggest battery too. But just an incredible tank from Smoke. I think one of my favorites since probably the original TFV8s came out. So all right guys, check it out. The V9 Max tank. Here we go. Fickety fick fick. Fuck man that is an awesome bait. Huge clouds. Huge airflow. Everything on this thing is huge. Huge, I tell ya. Shit's so good, I'm gonna take one more and then we're gonna wrap it up with what I think is probably overall the best new tank that I've tried in the last several months. But all right, one more on the Stick V9 Max. Serious mother freaking whiteout conditions on that. Reminds me of the weather up here in the Northwest the last week or so. This is the one from Horizon Tech, the Falcon Tank. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, you gotta make that noise yourself. It doesn't do it for you. But one of the best looking and best vaping tanks, I think. This one does have the new resin design. It also has the quarter turn and the top pops off like several and we looked at. It also has the bottom airflow on it. This one is 25 millimeter at the base. It is 30 millimeter at the um, widest point with the bubble glass on there. And you're gonna be able to get seven mils of juice in there. This one's already doing pretty good. It's about half full, so I probably don't need to get no more twist in it. So I currently have the M Falcon coil in here, and this is a 0.15 resistance coil. It is reading it as 0.14, and I am doing this at 70 watts. And this is another mesh coil, and this one has a 70% wood pulp with a 30% cotton wick in it. But all right guys, check out the vapor consistency off of this Falcon tank. Here we go. Holy cockamole Batman, that is some flavor. So probably the best flavor tank I think would be this Falcon. It is, like I said, kind of a mix between an airy and a somewhat restricted tank. Definitely not as big an airflow as on the Stick B9. So kind of depending on what you're looking for. Portability, convenience, I really love the twist that comes with the um, Fire Loop 2 tank on it. For the biggest clouds you're going to be able to get probably is going to be on this new Stick V9 Max and your best balance of vapor production and flavor is probably coming off of the Falcon tank. And if you're looking for a couple smaller tanks that fire up some big clouds, then maybe the Cerberus or the Crown 4 would be for you. But like I said, you don't have to remember the names and all of the different things about each one of these tanks because I do have the links underneath this video. It'll take you right over to a site. You can check out all the specs and everything like that. I will also put a link underneath the video that will take you over to this Twist Eju site where you can check out all their different twist lines like their Lemon Twist, Cookie Twist, 
Lewis, Melon Twists, etc. If you have not done so already, please do subscribe to this channel and ring that little bell so you get the notification when the videos go up. If you enjoyed yourself at any time during this video or you like any of these tanks we looked at today, please give us a thumbs up. They are greatly appreciated. And if you have an opinion on any of the tanks we looked at today, put that right down in the comments. Good, bad, or indifference. People love to hear your opinions about things as well, and I love reading them too. And if you have a couple ideas for some great tanks for the next lineup, maybe something I didn't look at today, give me that down in the comments as well. That is going to do it for me. I'm going to go ahead and bake you guys out with one last big ass cloud off of the Stick V9 Max. And as always, I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with a brand new video. Catch you guys then. Peace.